Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, see it and purchase it on Watchbox.com. And today we're discussing the Vacheron Constantin Overseas Chronograph, the second generation watch reference 49150, here seen in red, and I do mean red gold. The Overseas bowed in 1996, but it wasn't a credible contender to the Grandeur of Patek Philippe and Audemars Piguet, at least not in the sports watch class, until 2004 with the beefier second generation overseas, a watch that combines menace and elegance in equal measures. It was the chronograph of that second generation family, today's watch, that truly helped the overseas to come of age and become a contender. The watch is imposing. 42 millimeters in diameter, it's halfway between a Royal Oak and an Offshore in size, although it's slim in profile, which you believe only 12.5 millimeters, despite all automatic winding chronograph and soft iron inner anti-magnetic cage. Lug to lug, it's a wearable 50.7 millimeters, and you can see on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, there is a little bit of a reverse ducktail to the end of the case, so it does wrap itself around your wrist. I would say this watch is outstanding for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. The watch is easy to wear because it has such a relative cushion profile about it, and those downturned lug ends. The strap is substantial, but unlike stiff straps that you'll find on the offshores. This one doesn't really compromise fit. You can pull it pretty much straight down. It arcs around the wrist. It's not going to fight you much. Vacheron doing things the right way, fixing the strap to the case with a screw. Spring bars should be banished in expensive luxury watches. The grade of leather is high. It's thick cut. The stitching is perfect, monotone, and it's matched to a I would say roughly reddish brown, maybe dark burgundy coloration that's a perfect complement to the case. And you can see how the taper of the strap perfectly matches the case. Aesthetically, you lose nothing transitioning from bracelet to strap on this watch. Calfskin on the underside with a full double deployant red gold Vacheron clasp, both polish and satin finish. Note double folding, Maltese cross internally, Maltese cross externally, and trigger release. You do set it in place with a screw, find your fit, put it in place, and then you get double security. First with the deployant clasp and trigger action, second with the knowledge that the pin buckle can never come dislodged from the strap itself. As you can see, I can give it quite a beefy tug and nothing will happen on that count. Now moving back to the case, this is where the watch really builds its presence. It's rather sheer in profile, which makes it quite different from either the Royal Oak or the Nautilus, or the Aquanaut for that matter. All of those watches have slim case bands. This one is sheer and tall and polished, and it gives the watch an impressive stance without actually being that thick a watch. Satin finished on the lug hoods as well as the hood of the case. There's a contrast with the polished pushers and the crown, and then there's a Maltese cross motif that radiates out around the bezel. In between, you can see that it's vertically satin grained, so attention to detail is excellent, and there are a few well-chosen hand-finished elements of the case's execution. My favorite is this bevel that runs the entirety of the case band. The dial is an anthracite, and we're going to get close, an anthracite sunburst that has elements of violet and argent and gold and bronze all at the same time. It's a handsome match for the case. Red gold sub-registers, or red gold chapterings, I should say, for the sub-registers, applique red gold indices, red gold hands at center with a counterweighted white lancet style seconds hand. Calculated asymmetry, you can see that chronograph minutes have been favored, and that makes sense. That's the indication you're most likely to view. Also, note the necked down hybrid hand form that's used for the chronograph registers. It's a sort of double-stepped baton. And then there's a dished ray hot outboard that gives the dial great depth. Apertures for the double digit date. This is the signature of the model and one that is much missed in the third generation overseas. You can see not only is there a double digit date, but each individual aperture is stepped down to gracefully transition from the plane of the dial. And I love that applique rose gold Maltese cross. On the back, the Italian naval training vessel Amerigo Vespucci. It's a becoming sight for a watch that is elegant and classical in every respect. Now, there's a lot going on here. You've got a solid case back because there's a soft iron cage inside. You wouldn't be able to see the movement anyway. That helps the watch achieve 25,000 ampere per meter anti-magnetism. It's also a 150 meter water resistant watch. So compared to the 50 meters of a Royal Oak chronograph or the 120 of a Nautilus chronograph, this one is solidly above par. And I'll even say this, 
With the true screw downs, I bet it's even more water resistant than they claim. The movement is known as Vacheron 1137, but fact, it's a Frederic Piguet 1185. It's a high horology, hand finished, integrated vertical clutch column wheel chronograph, so it's, it's slick to operate with the column wheel. You have a crisp action that you can hear and feel. Screw out that pusher. You feel it, you hear it. There's a vertical clutch, so no jump when you start the chrono. And if you prefer, you can leave the chrono engaged with no hazard to the movement. That's the advantage of a vertical clutch. Vacheron builds the double digit date complication, and it does have a quick set, so you can rapidly cycle it. 40 hour power reserve, 21.6 beat rate, 37 joules, and beautifully executed. You're going to have to take my word for it, but the soft iron cage is worth it. I recently had a watch that was running a minute fast a day, and sure enough, it was magnetism. Vacheron truly thought of everything. Beautiful artisanally and intellectually. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Vacheron Overseas Chronograph Generation 2 Red by Day, Green by Night. See it on the watch box and make it yours.